Good to see you all. It's been a hot minute. We have a, a friend, a friend who I shall bring on. You all know him. You all love him. His name is Sam. Sam Darling. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> howdy, howdy. So I'm super pumped because I finally, Sam, like years ago, got interop working with his JavaScript app. But I wanted to do it, and his Maui app, but I wanted to do it with Angular and do it the right way. Like whatever the Angular people consider the right way, right? Like slap a JavaScript file next to the Angular app wasn't going to cut it if I was going to present this to my people, right? And I finally figured it out. Mother of God, it took me a hot minute. I've never used injection tokens before. If you are an Angularite and you're out there judging me, um, continue to judge. Never used them before. <laughs> I used them, I wrapped up our logic, I injected it into my Angular app, and I got the best message of my life. You want to know what it was, Sam? Oh my God, I'm here. So before we get into it, uh, two ah. questions. One what? is, when you say when you say my people, uh, yeah. you mean your Angular people, and yeah. it seems like you, are, you <laughs> folks are really smart, and you are... <laughs> <laughs> you are, you you may be putting JavaScript down a little bit, you know. What? Just playing playing Put JavaScript, it, it's not what? bad. <laughs> no, it's just no one's gonna like if someone came in, you know, they walked up to my repo's house and they knocked on the door yeah. and they looked <laughs> and they saw they saw like there's already a lot of judgment going on for what we're mm -hmm. doing with Maui, right? Like I'm getting a lot of judgment. But then if they saw my interop was just a JavaScript file, it wasn't even TypeScript, it wasn't even like wrapped in with my Angular project, I think people would start just throwing things, right? I think there would be riots. I don't. And, uh, oh. What was Napalm saying? Sam is something up with VS 2022 and yeah, .NET 6. Right. Um, huh? Um, I build my app, right click, bub up, nothing happens. Only works when I press the play button to run on Windows. Mm, no, uh, things are pretty stable. Um, so I'm, we might need more context. No problem. Like, are you deving on Windows on VS twenty twenty two? When you say right click, uh, how are you running it exactly? Um, so uh, yes, so tell us. Six. Okay, so it works on seven, but not on six. So you are between six and seven. You are switching up uh, the runtime, right? Are you so, are you using seven yet on the reg? Should yeah, I be yeah, yeah. you you Sam yeah. Sam are yes it's, okay. It's it's production ready. Yes, you should. Um, so uh, <laughs> you you're switching up. What's the the target framework moniker TFM as we call it? Uh, so sometimes when you do that, uh, Nepal, what happens is like the, some of the older build artifacts might stick around. So maybe try. Um, wiping out your bin and OBJ directories because those that's where the build artifacts go and then do a clean build for six or do a clean build for seven. That might, uh, okay, did that. Um, so I don't know. Uh, so when, when you right click on the project, you're trying to run it on a specific platform or a device, uh, but you're saying it, it works on seven, but doesn't when you do a six. Yeah, maybe we need to, you know, get get to the bottom of what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are you trying to do with your life is really what Sam is saying. So, Navam, I think uh, we follow each other on, on the Twitterverse. So, you know, let's start up a thread. Tell me what you're doing. Um, I'll, I'll try to see. Uh, no, no, you're not hijacking things. Uh, let, me, let me see. No, uh, a little bit I more love it. You're, you're literally giving me time to find the project. <laughs> I'm so not prepared. I was working on another app. So, yes, Sam showed me the ways of this. And then I took it a step further because I was just like, this needs to go out to the world. So now it's like, what what I, what like my, my talk at .NET conferences. Also, uh, I, I should rectify uh, or I'll bring Annal into the, uh, you know, context. So okay. JavaScript interrupt, uh, you know, it it works, you know, Blazor interrupt <laughs> and, and, and it's any JavaScript that you put inside of an Angular app or a, or a React app, it works, but it's yeah. not up to Lisa's standards apparently. It wasn't. Uh, no, okay. Her, okay. Her okay. Angular right, people on, demand gonna, TypeScript. Oh, they do, well, they demand TypeScript. They demand dependency injection. You can't okay, just be okay. like um, you know, a Magikarp over there flopping on the side <laughs> of your project. Like, ah, here you go. Here, here's okay, some stuff. Okay. Like that was Sam, and Sam was like, "It's totally fine. I got interop <laughs> working." And I'm like, staring at this flopping fish. Web view is a web view. <laughs> exactly. Oh, um, <laughs> it'll do everything. That's that reminds me of the question when someone was asking. 
and I had no idea at this meetup last week um, what like what web view it is like. And I guess, Depends. and then like you and then Ed both told me like it changes based on what it's building yeah, for. Where it's running, right? Where it's yeah. running. So on Windows, you're going to get um, uh, what's called um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank now. What does what Edge <laughs> use? Uh, is, it actually is available as a separate NuGet package. Does, Edge, too. does yeah. Edge use Chromium or is that a dumb mm -hmm. question? No, no, no. It, that's the engine Edge is using. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, fuel was making me laugh. Napalm tweeted at you. Um, it's sometimes Safari Web View and sometimes Chromium. Yeah, yeah. I think like for iOS, so, it's Safari, right? Mm -hmm. And it's called uh, WK Web View internally. I mean, you just grabbed a Safari you for know, like, engine for like WebKit or something. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's WebKit powered, and Chromium one is the one that Chrome uses. Okay. Okay. Let me show and you. Edge. I'm gonna share. It. Did I scare my? Did I share it? I didn't share it. Share my screen. Yes, be good to me. Thank you. Thank you, Twitter. Or not Twitter. What are we on? StreamYard. Woo! Okay. Um, so this is my app. I'm going to go up and show you the actual... My, yes, Alyssa, my, my OCD is going to bother me until you hit the hide button down at the bottom. There. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Um, so this is where I have, I made a to-do app and because um, everything that you learn in JavaScript should be in a to-do app. And I was learning interop with Maui. So I was like, okay, we need a to-do app in Angular. So to-do here in blue is actually our Angular app. So if I go and go into him and LS, you can see his, I'm going to make this like massive uh you can see his files and such and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna serve this up and show it are you serving are you running okay and this is very 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 basic uh we so have this is, an ang ang this is an angular app you're looking at or... yes okay. yes so inside of source you've got app and then here we've got our app component which is just the main component that is being like loaded in when the app runs and i created this section here where i added kendo a little bit of kendo where i've got a card and a header and um this is the like the interopy bits because up here is the actual to do stuff where it's like creating um to do items. And so then down here, I was like, okay, here's our interopy bit. So I added a button and on button click, it does get device info, which should look very familiar because Sam created this method. Um, and he put it in a, I think I called it jink JS. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, because I was like, this isn't how this should work. <laughs> I love you, Sam. Uh, this isn't how this is your work. And then I like kept manipulating it to try. Essentially, at first I was like, let's attach it to the window, right? Um, and then I kept uh, kept digging and my husband was like, oh my God, your Angular has something that's called um, injection tokens. That's what we need to do in order can to- you, Can you explain what is that? An injection token? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So dependency injection in Angular is like the safe and proper way to be like, hey, use this service. Hey, use this API, right? Hey, use this tool. And you like inject it into your app. Um, so, yeah, so Sam. DI is, so DI essentially, like anyway, you just, you know, register. Does everything else have this? Cause like React doesn't yeah. have dependency injection. So like that is okay. new to people in the JavaScript world, but you're saying it's not new to people in the .NET world? No, no, we have been doing it for 20 years, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, hum humble brag much? <laughs> yeah, humble brag. No, no, it's, it's it, I mean, it's interesting, you know, so uh, desktop is probably the longest, you know, um, the evolution of platforms. So, you know, the web world has rediscovered the same problems, you know, uh, after a while. They have. They really have. Have you noticed that? Is that, like, does that give you a good chuckle whenever you see... And, like, and it's it's real though, because like the way you do like you know data binding, the way you do navigation, the way you do you know uh, you know separation of concerns in Angular, it's very very similar to you know other models in .NET well, or even, Java. Even like TypeScript, right? And now adding on this type safety layer that JavaScript doesn't get a give a flip about, right? Like, or yeah. so that we have things like interfaces and things to like protect us. Like it's yeah. it's very okay, but I don't need the judgment whenever you see me using any. 
Because <laughs> I was like, I just need this to work. I'll figure out the type in a minute. Um, but here I, is. I, I don't know any better. So any is fine with me. <laughs> okay. It's like bar, right? Yeah. Uh, it's so it, I, it's essentially this is where the type should be listed. So yeah. if I make a custom type, that's where I'd stick um, the pointer to that. If I make, you know, otherwise it'd be like a string or a number or whatever. But I'm just using any to get past this because I was like, I don't I don't know. What is window? Who knows? So here I am importing Maui interop token. And I want to show where did I create you? Uh, did I put you in main? I did not put you in main. One second. It's been a second. So here we created Maui interop, um, which is just, it can be named anything. I'm attaching it to the window. Inside of that, it has the check number um function and the grab device info function, which I'm actually not using your check number yet. I need to do that. Um, but grab device info is what we are using. You might have noticed in the component here, but I named it get device info because of course the instance of grab device info is get device info here. And <clears throat> here you see I'm injecting this Maui interop token. Um, and uh, that is essentially the safe angular way to be like, here's this extra additional functionality I want you to have available. And the amazing part that I finally freaking got working, I think the server's running. The server is running. Uh, is it a local host? 4200, it should be. So why are you this? doing that? Um, uh, oh. Nipa was asking if this is like source gen. I, I, I don't think it it does what? any of this like uh, so the chat room Nipam is asking about is it like source generating anything? I, I think it's just. Can you explain what source gen means? What what is that? What <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, <laughs> it, it's it's a loaded concept of you know uh, writing less code and letting the compiler generate a whole bunch of you know boilerplate stuff for you. But here, I think it's just uh, kind of like, it's similar to what like .NET does. It's like an IOC container and you are registering a few services. Like go back to where you were, you had the token. Like where is the token first uh, declared and how is it initialized? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've got this token file here that I made. Okay, so that is just a file. Okay. She's my type script file. Um, I literally just create, like I'm getting injection token from Angular Core. And then I am creating this Maui interop token. And then <coughs> I said, uh, I was like, huh? Because I didn't, my husband was really pissed off that it needed this string passed to it. He's like raging at Angular. And I'm like, I don't think that should be something we should rage quit on. So we just randomly named that variable. But then, of course, we are, what part did you want to see next? This part, that part? Part where so, we actually wait, pass it in. Hold on for a second, because you are actually newing up uh, the ha thing. Where, where was that? In the token file dot TypeScript. Um, this one? Yeah. So you're exporting the Maui interrupt token. You are. And then if we're going to we're gonna go and like hunt for, I'm going to show you, command shift find. What, what is the injection token then? So this, let's show you. Here in my, this is my app module, um, the main module that's like bootstrapped and like mm -hmm. used when my application starts. And here inside of it, I am actually, this is where I showed you, I'm importing that token that we created and I'm providing it here and I'm giving it the value of Maui interop. And that's where I use, which you find Maui interop. Um, and that's where I use boo boo in my app component. Uh, I am saying here is my Maui interop. Let's go ahead and grab this like method off of it that is on the window. Does that make sense? So it's essentially yeah. like, cause I could have just used window the whole time. I did not necessarily have to do this injection token step. But it okay. didn't feel safe to do, I don't know. I didn't, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Uh, I, I have a couple of questions. Uh, hold on for a second. Um, uh, chat room is Rocket Man. Hey, Rocket Man, good to see you. I'm thinking there's a Maui community tool with source chain that scaffolds out MVPM. That's, that's a different question, but yes, yeah, the the Maui community what? toolkit has. No, I'm just you know catering to the. Oh, chat I wanted to here. actually pull that up real quick. Are we talking about the other API things or no? 
Is that no, what this is different. Yeah. This is different. so there. There is an MVVM part to toolkit. Um, in fact, it uh, it's actually better off in the .NET community toolkit, which has the MVVM um, bindings done for you, and it does a whole bunch of source gen um, that will scaffold. Uh, so no, that that's different because this is not the MVVM okay. pattern quite. Okay. Um, what I wanted to ask you is, when you say you you are attaching it to the window, what what is the window? What window are you talking about here? That's the JavaScript window. So like JavaScript when I go window. here and I'm like, oh, uh, window. And then okay, it's like so, got all this crap attached to it. And then I'm just like also throwing <clears throat> my methods onto it. OK. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, essentially, the, <laughs> the browser window, the web view window is what you're mm -hmm. talking about. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where where was, real quick, so um, uh, the other API things that we can get, like um, the device info and stuff, where is that in the docs? What was that under? Oh, platform integration. Integration. And, and then... Device features. And all. It depends on where you want it. Look. Okay, and then just any of these. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So when I was, like, struggle busting, <laughs> um <laughs> struggle buzzing. This when I hit this, it calls that. And then I when I finally saw this of .NET is not defined, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Because that's exactly like it's fine. <laughs> it's finally looking for .NET. It's finally like finding that method. And I was just so excited because what this means is that when I actually wrap this in my Maui app and then Blazor's providing .NET. Oh, I see. Right now, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, Pixel five. We gotta talk about iOS. I'm like, why it's not working? Because I'm gonna run this on Mac Catalyst. But like, do you know why? Uh, you said you mentioned some ideas. <laughs> like, I have no. It doesn't matter if I'm on six or seven. I don't have iOS stuff. Like, is that because? Do you have like? Can you run an iOS simulator on your? Mm -hmm. You can. Mm -hmm. Oh, like right now, you've tried it recently. Like since they yep. updated, I okay. I don't know. Um, so yes, this I was showing off at the meetup. I put in an, an alert, and it's so cool because it's like you know the JavaScript browser alert. But like as you package this in Maui for different things, it looks like you know the desktop alert or the you know the right. Pixel Five Android alert. Like it is so freaking cool. So that was just me showing that off, and then I click OK, and then it populates. It says device, and that is my computer's number and the orientation. Um, what, what's with your fonts? <laughs> I said to myself, what's the hardest thing to read? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to like make it look cool and exciting. Okay, I know it's not. I will work on this yet. So God the damn. <laughs> 1990s called and they, they wanted their blink back <laughs> <laughs> shut up sam beautiful and that's actually like a css animation yeah, yeah. working on mac catalyst boom yeah. Yeah, um go. but i was super i want to show you this other side because this side is the side that sam built and um this so javascript this is... attribute is like the other side of it right mm -hmm. like this is it providing yep. this is the bridge <sighs> the bridge Yes. Yep. Okay, so this is a .NET Maui app with Blazor template. Uh, show me what's in your www root. That is the built to do app that we were just looking at. So, so I, I built it and I it chucked over. it in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Show me your index HTML. So this is what Angular gives you. Oh, I see the Blazor web view that you're bringing in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what gets you the .NET, the in-memory object that you're calling it from. What are you talking okay. about? You're talking about this guy right here. This uh, this golden bunny. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Um, and then also there is this. Where is the is it main or app XAML? No, main. This one where yeah, we have this. That's the web view. Um, when I generated a new question app. For uh, I think it was about seven, uh, seven. Seven. There was another, for lack of a term of understanding, attribute here that is not here in the older apps. Do you know what I'm talking about? And I'm wondering, like, if I let me actually, I'll show you new project. I didn't know if we needed that or if that would break this or .NET seven continue which whatever. It in development though because I need you in development. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to show you the main page, close project. Because I was like looking at it and I was like, oh no, I don't understand. 
Um, this one. Oh yeah, that's just the name of the web view component. So essentially what you see on this page is what's called, what older people like me uh, <laughs> love, it's called XAML. You're essentially building up a bit. <laughs> You're building up a visual tree, no different from HTML. I don't know uh -huh. why XAML gets so much of the hate, but the, the entire visual tree, uh, every element in that visual tree, just like you know, on the web, uh, it can have a name. So that's the name uh, of the web view. It's called Blazor Web View. So if you need to reference that somewhere in your code, you have a name to reference that. So you can say <sighs> this dot Blazor Web View, but it doesn't matter if you. If you know, okay, if it. I do, let me show you in in our. If I do that here. Is that going to break it? No, it's just a name. <laughs> Chat list, you know, agreeing with me. Yeah. <laughs> They're agreeing that it's not going to break it. Uh <laughs> but the fact that uh, old people like XAML. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There was uh, there was another part I wanted to show you. Where's the interrupt? Let me show you. Oh, frick, I lost it. Oh, no, Sam, where'd the interrupt go? Is it in root? I think we just... I don't that was in your Angular app. No, I meant the one that's on, there it is. It's in our app, xaml.cs. Um, yeah. I had to show you. Where did you grab this? Like this, like the get device info? Did I ever yeah. give I you my stuff? You, I think I, <laughs> you're going to laugh. Was I think I, I took a picture because you didn't put all <laughs> of it. I took a picture of your code and then I typed it in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I was trying to get it to work so desperately. I told you there was a bit of depression in there. Um, oh, the sorry. name of the app, though, is needed. Where Where is that? That piece? Because, Zach, do you remember where we put that piece? Where we had to, oh, this namespace? No, I think it's on the JavaScript side. Yeah, the name of the, it's essentially oh, the name of the assembly. Oh, it's here. Is what you're for. This has to match. Did you know that? I did not know that. That was one of the things that I couldn't yep. get working. Yep. And well, hey, you're just saying yes, like you just knew. And I like had no idea that was like an app name. And I'm like, what does it want from me? And Zach was like, I think yeah. it wants your Maui app name. Yeah. So this uh, <laughs> this line of code is not the prettiest. Essentially, this is <laughs> you know JavaScript trying to call into .NET, uh -huh. and the invoke method async takes in two parameters. One is the assembly of the you know the thing that you're trying to call into and then the method name so the assembly name is essentially the name of your app the assembly can you define that in other words <laughs> <laughs> um when you have uh, uh when you write some code that's not essentially as a part of an app itself uh, but it's like a library that somebody else will consume uh, we would build that and make it available as an assembly that you can import into an app, and then you get to use the functionality inside of that assembly. Is this any different than like a library? No, no, same thing. Once you compile it down, it, it's essentially an assembly or a DLL, uh, as okay. it's called in .NET land. Okay, okay. I want to do essentially all of the things that the docs say that we are allowed to do. So just so that I mentally understand as I walk through, I'm going to have to... Um, add it on the .NET side here. So I'm going to have to add like the end point, the bridge part, like the mm -hmm. actual functionality of what the flip it's going to do. And then on the JavaScript side, going to need to make a method so that my JavaScript app knows and can access that specific method async bit, right? No, yeah, I mean, if you create a new method, you just need to call into that method, method again. Okay. Okay. A function in JavaScript. Because I want to go through all of our, my sorry, my Android simulator. I want to show you that it, everyone that it's working and actually grabbing the device info because it's freaking cool. But I want to do essentially a lot of stuff with like the device. And flash. Do you know what happens? Like if I'm doing, like let's say I say activate flashlight when you hit the flashlight button. Um, do you know what will happen on my simulator <laughs> like does it like does it say flashlights active like what or does it not it depends on the simulator uh, oh. some it might just like silently fail because it doesn't actually have a flashlight <laughs> um, okay. I, I don't know exactly what ios does but I, ios actually you know handles some of the things nicely it'll tell you like hey i don't have a flashlight okay okay um does your see it's like touching all these things and doing things does your computer take this long to build is this just a me thing because no. like it's it sh I, no it does not 
Because I'm like, mm. what did I do wrong? Brand new computer. All right. So if we scroll here. Oh, and I actually w wanted to ask you on that front. Um, wow. When you say brand new computer, you yeah. got a new MacBook yeah. or a Pro? Yeah. What is it? Yeah, yeah show us. Okay. Yeah. And can you maximize it? Because it's hard to read. Okay. You got a MacBook 13 inch uh, with an M2. Okay. So I'll give you for the M2. Um, but the 13 is kind of small, isn't it? Are you, are you okay with it? Oh, no, I love it. I want the smallest computer possible. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, I'm waiting on the MacBook 16 inch uh, with the M2 because that's supposedly going to come out in early oh, next year. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, because see, I've got like these purses. You probably don't have the purse problem <laughs> that purse. don't fit like big MacBooks, but they might yeah. fit small MacBooks. So I'm like, yeah, yeah I've got yeah, that. Look at this pop up or this alert and mm -hmm. how it looks all Android-y. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shut yep. up. And then look, it's telling us what this is in my uh, not so retro font. <laughs> <laughs> You should have like a mar marquee text going across the screen. <laughs> I actually did start um, a bring the marquee back campaign, you know, like, <laughs> let's bring it back. Um, okay. So could you before, because I'm going to add in more interop and I'm actually going to do what I'm trying to hunt for is essentially like things because like, you know, there's a lot of different, what are they called? Media queries. Um, and there's a lot of different smartnesses nowadays, but I would, I'm essentially hunting for bugs that I'm going to need to know, like what device this is actually on so that I can control something specific. But I'm really excited to like continue building out the interopy bits, but I was hoping you could help me figure out why I don't have iOS. Cause I, I used to be able to test on it and I, what, any ideas okay. where, like, where do I look? Cause like, I will try one of these iPhone bits and it watch it work <laughs> it hasn't also, been working while, while you're building um, yes, my good me. friend alan alan is actually close enough to me uh he's in toronto canada canada across the you know big big lake did you just call have. canada close to you yeah i'm very close to canada like i can get on a boat and get into canadian waters in like 30 minutes yeah okay but, uh, i guess i guess that's close i guess that's okay and also your iPhone simulator is working. It's just needed my presence. <laughs> I know, right? I'm Like, if this actually pulls up the app. I don't... Um, okay, so I want to get on M2. Uh, I, um, okay, so first up is way back in the days. Alyssa, I don't know if you remember this. Uh, original Max had, uh, uh, it came in uh, a white and a black. Uh -huh. We used to call it, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank, but they have brought it back in, in midnight. You can get a MacBook Air in midnight and it's gorgeous because it's like, it's almost black. It's like a dark, dark blue. Yeah. Uh, so you can only get that on an M2 with MacBook Air. If they give me that on a MacBook Pro, because like I'm due for a machine refresh. I've had this Intel MacBook for 40 years now, but I'm going to hold off a little bit I and see what they do. I wanted Sam the Air. In, I think it's like starlight or something. It's like a yeah. peachy color, it's and they they wouldn't they wouldn't get me. They would not. Nah, it's it's not a it's not a dev machine. It can't be a dev machine. It it's absolutely. If you look at the spec for spec, <laughs> it stands up. It's just lighter, Sam. It's lighter. Sam. I, get, I get it. I know. I know. I, I and don't get me wrong. I have a Mac Air and I love it. It's a brilliant productivity machine. I just don't think it's it can it should be your main dev machine. You are such a bragger. I don't know <laughs> if I've ever met anyone who brags more in their life. <laughs> you have an air. Ooh, we can take a picture of it and send it to me, sir. <laughs> is it beautiful? Is it an M2? No, no, no. It's like my air is like, you know, 4 years old as well. And oh, okay. yes, they're okay. they're expensive full schnabel. So, uh, MacBooks last forever and and a fully decked out MacBook Pro is going to be like, you know, four grand. Like, that's a ton of money. Is it really? Wait, yeah, is it really yeah, four? It's... I thought it was closer to like two. No, no, no. You you get, an M, you get an M2 and you get, you know, 32 or 62 gigs of RAM and right. at least a terabyte of, you know, solid state. That's yep. almost, you know, pushing up to four or four, uh, you know, thousand US dollars. That's a lot of money. It but is. the good thing is it lasts you a lot. Like, it, it lasts you five years easily. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything. Is this doing anything? No, your app just crashed. It crashed? How do you know it crashed? Nothing said it crashed, did it? No, I think it flick flickered once and went away. <laughs> I would have sat here for a long time being like, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming so, for me. <laughs> Alan is also on board with you. Like the 13-inch M2 is yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, I, I hear you. 
but that's the pro though. Like, I still would not recommend the air. One day, one day they'll machine. make like a 10 inch computer and then that will be my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have you have an iPad. Yeah. I uh, I I wish that the the whole. Can, have you ever tried like programming on an iPad? Yeah, very little bit. Very little. It, it does Visual Studio exist? Uh, as a hack. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah, as a hack. What do you mean? Why is it? Oh, uh, because it's not officially meant to be running. On, oh, uh, they don't want you to. No, no, because you don't have all the bits to. Do a build, and we're already going to run it. Sam, do you ever use Visual Studio on Windows? Mm -hmm. And do you agree with the people at the conferences who tell me that I'm using fake <laughs> Visual Studio? <laughs> no, no, no. Visual Studio for Mac is as native as it gets on a Mac, and uh, the, I mean the tooling for .NET Maui has you know taken a while to catch up because they were redoing the UI entirely. Um, it uses the same exact compilation, uh, you know, engine, same exact IntelliSense engine. So it is absolutely the same what experience. Do, what do get. people mean by that then? Because they they like make fun of me for using the Mac version, and I'm like, you, you what am I missing? Them, you can just tell them I'm the cool kid. And, uh, <laughs> I use the newest tools. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yours doesn't have all the features. I'm like, what features? Uh, there, there, there are differences, but there you know, are the features. Yeah, yeah, the features you are missing, you're not using them here, so oh. you're fine. Yeah. Oh, there are, but there are things. Oh, Do yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah. Um, because I'm gonna the next step for this talk is that I'm gonna get parallels working, and then I'm gonna like have Windows and like <laughs> walk through doing like deploying an app, but doing it on the Windows side. Do you think it's like faster? Like, do you think I'll notice a difference? How long do you have? Because like I can go on a. One minute I, rant or a no? I want to hear. Rant. Yeah, tell me, like, because I want to know what. Because I, I'm that's really my plan, and I because mainly because people will come up to me at these conferences, Sam, and they're like, "We're, we're sorry that you're using inferior software," mm -hmm. and I'm like, "What?" No, no, <laughs> that, that's not true. Um, but um, uh, was chat room talking about um, VMs? Uh, maybe I saw a question. What were they saying? Do uh, they hang on? I gotta go back over to chat and check it out. What were they saying? Okay, so uh, to answer your question, the M2 chip is really, really good, right? Um, uh, but you know you, uh, what Alan is saying that there is there's yeah. some tooling that's missing, uh, which we'll get to because like essentially M2 is an ARM 64 chip; uh -huh. it's not an Intel uh, built chip, right? So okay. it's different, and with that architecture comes differences in the software. So Visual Studio has to be remade for ARM. Okay. Um, yeah, so everything is different on ARM. So there are some missing pieces. But otherwise, if you just want to run Windows um, on um, on an M2 chip with parallels, I think you're going to have a good time. I've heard a lot of people say it's, it's really? really smooth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yay! Sam, that makes me so happy. I, I run parallels uh, on Intel forever. Uh, it's And if you give it enough memory and it's nicely optimized, it runs just fine. Uh, my one thing would be uh, it's actually going to lower your you know heating bills in winter time because uh, you wouldn't need to run heat because uh, the fan <laughs> keeps on going and it generates enough heat to. That's why I was hoping that the M2 chip would help me avoid. You think the fans are still going to go? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't have an M2 chip, but we'll I've see. heard good things. On okay, when I go over to the Windows side though, like will I be able to do all of the devices, or can I not test like Mac Catalyst? on Windows. You cannot run Mac apps on Windows because that's called Hackintosh. You can't do that. You can't? However, no, you can't. What can but, I do then? What's the point of using a Windows machine? Because you can run Windows. You can't run Windows apps on your Mac. I cannot run a Windows app on my Mac? No, you cannot. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I can run yes. Android. Yeah, but Android is not Windows. So you cannot run like native Windows apps on a Mac and you cannot run native Mac apps on Windows, right? Oh however, my God, I'm so excited. This is so however, exciting. What? Um, from Windows though, uh, since you are going to be on a Mac anyways, uh, so Windows knows your Mac as the host because like you're running a VM, you're running a virtual machine as yes. Windows. Yes. So it knows that you're running inside of a host. That's your yes. Mac. Yes. So Visual Studio on Windows will be able to pair up to your Mac side of things and be able to run iOS apps for you, which includes, you know, Mac wow. Catalyst apps as well. That is so cool. Not, you know, not, not native. Okay, so chat room has been busy. <laughs> so let's, should let's, we all use Android? Are you making fun of Android fuel? What, what? 
Yeah. Okay, hold that. on, hold on for a second. Chatro has been talking about a lot of things. So <laughs> uh, this is good. So what Foolish Apple is talking about is code spaces. Code spaces. So computer. everything in the cloud, you just need a browser. You can run a dev environment pretty much from your iPad if you want to live on the edge. Uh, may not be for everybody, but you know, lighter tasks you can you can get around. Um, <laughs> Alan is saying VS for Mac. Uh, I agree. <laughs> it uh, so when when people tell you that you're using inferior software, yeah, they probably mean uh, so. There's some history to Visual Studio on a Mac. Essentially, it came from uh, a place which uh, so .NET Maui is an evolution of Xamarin. You may have heard me talk about Xamarin. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the Xamarin team had built a thing called the Xamarin Studio, which was essentially doing C sharp natively on a Mac. Uh, so they essentially borrowed that uh, studio, started from there and made it Visual Studio, okay. uh, changed up the name and it wasn't good. So <laughs> starting 2022, it's been completely redone and now it's actually, uh, it's oh, good. So, so you think I'm that's saying. where a lot of those opinions yeah. come from? Yeah. Oh. So have them try the latest Visual Studio 2022 on a Mac, it, it is good. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's see, uh, what else? Um, so Alan is also saying Parallel boots Windows faster than my native i7. Look at that. So if you, what Alan is saying is if you have a separate Windows machine or a box or a tower, uh, yeah. it actually boots faster in Parallels than it does on a native Windows machine. Oh, wow. You know, every, everything is, you know, virtual. So, uh, and apparently no fans because the M2 chip is really that good. Okay, well, so I'm you, excited about that then. I'm planning on doing it. And this was the other reason that I like told work. Because like they they did not want to approve the M2 chip. They were like, we haven't done testing on it. We don't know if it's secure. I'm like, dude, Apple's not going to release something that's not secure, but okay. So I fought for it because I want to do this while I'm on stage. So do you have any idea how long it takes to like go into Parallels, Alan or Sam, like, and then like boot up Windows and then like open up Visual? Like, like is that doable on stage? Because that's my yeah, goal yeah. is to like yeah, no, show this. You know. Yeah, a couple of seconds, but I mean, you might have seconds. Told, you know, no freaking yeah. way, it's that fast. Less less than a minute. Mine's less than a minute for sure. Yeah. No. Oh my god, really? Are you using parallels or are you using something different? Yeah. No, I use parallels. Wow. Um, but you know, for that matter, you can just you know keep your windows running. You can you know load up parallels and just oh, really? get on get on stage while your windows is running. That way, you can oh. show both windows and Mac. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This sounds so cool. Do you ever do this on stage too, Sam, or do you you stick to one? No, no, OS? all the time. All the you time do. <laughs> We we um, got into rough waters years back. Uh, rough we waters. made yeah, we made a shirt that says "I go both ways," which you know it's cult <laughs> it's culturally offensive to say, but I I am the same way. I, I go both ways. I, I do I do Windows and Mac all the time. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so you know, oh um, Alan is saying really good things about into uh, Teams Discord mm, Edge. Yeah. Their parallels They've done some solid work on that chip. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm super pumped then. That's the next thing to try. When I, um, Sam, when I go and I like am in Windows and I'm on this machine and I'm like, do I have to like buy things? Like, do I have to purchase Visual Studio? <laughs> no, no, you don't have to. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> Normally, like years back, you would have to. Now you don't anymore. Um, because essentially what you're doing, uh, the runtime, the platform, .NET Mavi, everything is open source, everything is free. Okay. And uh, you would like to get Visual Studio 2022, the community edition, which makes you know all of this tooling available to you. And it's free. The no, no. The community edition? Mm -hmm. So when oh. you go to Visual Studio... Um, in fact, I mean, go, go ahead and share your screen. I'll, I'll share it because I, I thought it was, I, I was on preview and then now I'm on like the normal not preview. Yeah. No, you're what is you know, Unity? Sta stable bits. Um, I don't think pull I've up, pull up a browser. Share it's just a free, free edition of Visual Studio. Oh. Yeah. Visual Studio. Just, yeah, just go there. And uh, see, it tells you like which one do you want? Do you want from Mac? Or do you want Visual Studio Code? Do you want uh, the full Windows one? So when you uh, and also do a search on Visual Studio Community Edition, that's going to take you to the specific one. Uh, oh, you want me to see? Wait, this is this is for both. Or this one works for both. Yeah, that's VS Code. That's oh, like that's VS Code. <laughs> Do, do okay. Do a do a learn more. Um, or okay, that's fine. Do a search. Visual Studio Community. That's it. Yep. 
So you will get this for both Windows and Mac. So when you're setting oh. up your Windows machine, so you get oh, this. Oh, no. This so free. I should have been using this because what am I flipping using now? Yeah, I'm using not that. What is this? It's Visual Studio. But not Community. Uh, looks like this one's paid for, maybe. Um, I, I bought it. Should I not have bought it? <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so. <laughs> This is a paid version. That's fine. But okay. the, what, you, what you're doing, the community version will do just fine. Really? What is the difference then? What does the other one give us? Uh, the paid version has more features, but those are mostly for bigger teams, uh, which uh, you, don't, you don't need right now. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. Oh, well, awesome. I'm excited to try. I can't wait to download Parallels now. <laughs> okay, go, 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 to, go back to your code one time. I, I have more questions. This one or the yeah. other one? Um, yeah, the, the other one. How are you invoking that get device info? Let, let's let's try the uh, the the um, the even odd number thing. Can you do that? Because you have yeah. uh, the check number. Yeah. Are you yeah, you have check, the check number? number. Yeah. Okay. Um, we so we've already given um, app component access to Maui Interop, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get. I'm just going to make another button. Uh, button, button, button. And instead of get device info, let's say get that number. And then we'll go and make that a actual function. And get that number. And then this one is going to, instead of grabbing, uh, bup, 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 uh, instead of grabbing device info, we're going to, what was it called? Something. Uh, what is get no not get that number what is it called uh where is it i'm gonna find it there you are it's called check with a c check number okay so back to our typescript and we're gonna say check why is it should it should be like suggesting it why is it not suggesting it, it? it did give you get the the get that number is what, what it was trying to suggest because it's no which is weird i'm like i don't want to call myself you weirdo i need maui interrupt that check number and then that line doesn't actually work i don't know why my notification service is not working but let's do an alert with the number yeah mm -hmm. I, think, I think that should work um and then what we have to do is a bit... Well, you, you don't need to do an alert here anymore because uh, the JavaScript already has an alert, I think. Um, what? Go, go to your JavaScript, the definition of the check number. Oh, check number. Uh, does it? Yes, yeah, you are right. Like it does. So okay, just, so we'll just, just call just it. Call it. Yep. Um, but what I have to do is um, build real quick. So, whee! Let us build. Let us build. Um, ng build eat. And then once she's built, we'll drag it into the root folder and then see if check number works. Did you have other questions in your heart of hearts? Yeah, so <laughs> you, you you took out my janky JavaScript uh, kind of as a, as a I, file. I use, yeah, I need to clean it up a little bit because I still have jank.js, which is doing nothing. Yes, you do. But uh, I <laughs> I used token file to create a token and I attached Maui interop to window and because I think you had it just floating out there in the ether I don't think you had attached it to window um and then I injected that puppy um can't you find we look who's here to troll us oh my god is it Ed who is it <laughs> who is that I don't <laughs> It's our good friend, Mr. Fritz. Oh, it's Fritzy. Hi, Fritzy. What's he trolling? What's he saying? Uh, uh, well, he's talking about janky JavaScript is the next <laughs> named version of Ubuntu. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Jeff, my JavaScript is apparently not good enough for me. Oh my god, I didn't say that. I just said it was like a magic heart <laughs> fish flopping next to your application. Oh, you and flopping, I actually... that, that makes it so much better. <laughs> my JavaScript just flopping around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, not that what I've done is any better. I will I will clean it up, make it beautiful. Right now, though, at least the Angular people won't flip out. We built it, and it's in disk now. So I'm going to open up our Maui application. 
root folder. And then I'm going to drag over our built files into here. And then I'm going to say apply to all, replace them. And then now we're going to go back over to our Visual Studio and build that sucker for, I think, Mac Catalyst is going to be the fastest. I don't know. It's kind of sad if like Android builds faster than Mac Catalyst on a Mac. Like that would be really sad. <laughs> Android development on a Mac is actually really, really good. Nicely optimized. But I mean, so is, so is iOS. I, I still don't know why your, um, your you know, iPhone builds don't work. We can take a look. I know. I need to... I need to like look. I I I'm really surprised that yours do work because I assumed it was like because it's just not supported yet because like they updated Xcode and then Microsoft no, just no, no. like so I'm really surprised that yours work. No, no, um, Xcode, oh uh, no! <laughs> I don't know which button it is. Maybe the first one. Uh, nope. Second one. Enter a number. Go. So what am I supposed to check? What am I doing? What does this function do? Just enter. It just checks for even or odd. Thirty-three. <laughs> Thirty-three is ah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, how is that? How is this? Hold on. How is this? I'm so confused. So this isn't using any part of the hardware. It's just a back and forth. This particular method check number. This yeah. this got nothing to do with any hardware. This is just essentially uh, me trying to see can I uh, oh can I have God. JavaScript call into a .NET method. You um, know what we should do? We should add to check number just to like really layer on the funk. Um, and also, yeah. why are you not doing the baking challenge with me? <laughs> why are you not? I I got other things to do. Uh, so what what Alyssa is talking about is we're doing a Thanksmas uh, stream on December 9th. And How there's going to be a lot of fun. uppity does I have better things to do, <laughs> Alyssa? I said I had other things. Not better things. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. How do I how do I access like like if I just want to like see the battery number? Yeah. Like, so charge. Yeah, get, getting there. I'm just going to uh, quickly reply to what Fritz is saying. Uh, so oh, Fritz, Fritz has say? an uh, Fritz has an M1 uh, Mac. So Fritz, uh -huh. we are not again like uh, not as cool as Alyssa, who now has an <laughs> M M2 Mac. Okay. Uh, but uh, hold on. Uh, getting a phone call. Uh, but um, yeah, I will actually see you um, at Devon Section next week. Uh, so as it turns out, our company has a big uh, internal sales kickoff. Um, so uh, a lot of our folks are tied up there. And um, uh, Fritz doesn't like me enough to uh, you know speak, but I'll still be there. I'm just preparing to be an official booth babe for two days. Uh, but it'll be still good to hang out. What the flip? Is this what I need? Battery level label dot text. What am I looking? I just want to know the. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. What? Let's go back. Go back up. Go back up. You're trying up to, to reach the battery. You're trying to get the. Uh huh. Uh, iOS. Yep. Um, what? 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 What is this? Okay. What is hold the I one fourth percent plus what? Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger so we can all be confused together. What is that? It's probably an uh, icon that's not rendering right oh. uh, or, or a font that you don't have. I like it's uh, trying stuff. to tell us something. <laughs> okay, so uh, once you get into uh, some of the device permission type thing, like uh, you just ask for the you know orientation of your device and the name of your device that you can get. But when you have to ask for battery or location yeah. or any of those things, yeah. those are all, um, you know, uh, things that you need the user's permission for. I, I didn't know battery needed permission, but apparently on Android, where, you do. Where are you saying we need permission? Who's that saying right that? right there, the, use, the, the user permissions thing. It needs to be a thing on your Android manifest, but go, go to the iOS, macOS tab uh, right there uh, next to it. Yep. No setup required. So I didn't know, like, uh, that's what I was thinking. Like iOS does, does not need anything for battery. So scroll down a little bit. Uh, on iOS. Nope, stay on iOS. Oh, wait, it changes? This changes that? This changes sometimes, that? Sometimes, sometimes. Oh. All right, so um, looks like you can just go. Um, so I don't care about info change. I just want to know what your level is. How do I know what your level is? Maybe if I just say battery. How are, are we Im importing battery somewhere? Who has battery? Uh, scroll down a little bit. It should be built in. Built in. Uh, oh, e.charge level. That's only exposed on there. Frick, are you seeing this on the event? Hang on. Let's go to our this code. Uh, the code code. Where's the code code? This one? Nope. Not that one. This one? Nope. 
nope this one um and then in here we're gonna say boopity boopity like can i just say battery <clears throat> um i have to look this up for you where where in the namespace do you get battery battery uh, dot Oh my god! 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 Wait, like, do you think it's like a method, or do I just like call no, it? No, that's it. It's just uh, uh, hover over it, uh, Bonds... see if it's. Wait, what is it here? Var? What is it? You can just say it. So you, you got the number. You got the in integer, right? So it's you can variable, right? And say var bat is equal to, and then like print it out or something. No, or just yeah, maybe... just. Yeah, you can print it out. So what, what Alan is saying is uh, all of these things used to be uh, what was called Xamarin Essentials. It was a you know, separate library that got access to all of your you know, native API bits. Now you don't need to because it's just built into .NET Mavi and it's actually built uh, implicitly in your global using. So you don't need anything. Like you just saw, you can just do battery charge level. Do I need to say two string? Yep, and then open and close parenthesis. Like, oh. That's a myth. Yep. Oh, snap. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. How do we put it in this string? How do I put it in that string? I want to put it in that string. I know it's string. Just, I just to uh, return. Return that. Uh, so forget about the number returning. Can we just um, put it in here like this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> How do you do it? How do okay, I? It's treating that as a string, so you have to escape that. So close that string and then do a plus. And then do that, and then do mm -hmm. oh, and then don't make that a string. I, I'm understanding. Yep, and then you. close close that. Yep. Oh my god, is it gonna work? Can we run it? Shut up. Do I have to restart my thing to see this? No, no, you're in the Maui you sure? app. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, you have to restart the Maui app. I do. You just said I didn't have to. <laughs> no, no. What? The Angular stuff is built because, like, you just changed. No, the I know. I was saying do I have to restart this app. Yes, because you're not to doing see the hot, changes. You're okay. not doing hot reload or .NET hot reload. Uh, How so do I do know that. I'm not doing hot reload? Uh, depends on your settings. It doesn't look like you are. Uh, oh, it's just... a separate, separate <laughs> conversation. We'll get to it. <laughs> okay. Now okay. you want to enter an even number because I think you only did it for the even one. Can you zoom in? One. It says one. Can you zoom in because we can't see? I don't know. How do I zoom? Uh, accessibility controls like control zoom. Uh, on a Mac. Control zoom. And then, uh, no, it doesn't work for you. It's not working. Okay. Um, it just says the number 32 is even, period, and then there's a one. So that's probably the battery level, uh, which is... Battery probably, level one? <laughs> which is like a fully charged battery. Uh, okay, maybe. let's do this. Let's do this right. Let's do... Well, actually, I don't know how... I'm, I'm really scared. I'm scared to do this right. So I'm going to do this rip that out and then i'm just going to put it in its own thing also yeah. i'm looking at the time it looks like i gotta run in like you gotta five run. minutes okay yeah. okay uh, um check i wonder what the flip run one is oh you know what i need to do is just like plug in my phone and run it on that yep return do i have to put it in a string or no wait did yeah, we do it in yeah. an alert what did we do no, that's fine. Return is fine. Who's putting it in an alert? Where did the that, alert that was come in, from? That was in the JavaScript for it. It was in the JavaScript that right. put and this stuff in an alert. <clears throat> right. Okay. Yeah. And um, also, you don't you don't need to pass in an integer because uh, you're just trying to check the battery status. Who's passing what an integer? Oh, <laughs> check check battery. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Cool. Um, and then over here, we're gonna Zerbert. Zerbert. This one. Um, um, yep, that. You can just show it in an alert, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm going to say check battery, and then, yes, and then, you're right, community.net, and then I've got a call. You don't need to parse um, the I number. I get rid of that whole thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, and just, then just alert result, yeah, is that yep. fine? You don't need the then. You can just say alert result. Happy? Wait. There's too many parentheses. Wait. Wait. This is this is your land. This is JavaScript. I was gonna say this is. I wanna <laughs> hang on. Parse int number. No, I think you're right. Yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, hang on. That number server. Did we do it right? Okay. Well, you have to run because I've got to build this. And that's going to take a second. 
Um, but I, I really, I really appreciate you. Because now you can run this on, you can run this on Android. Run this on Android and see what the battery (coughs) level is. You know what I didn't do? I didn't, I didn't call it from our JavaScript. (laughs) So we have to actually call it from our, um, this one. Instead of get that number, well, we can leave that one in. Um, this one is get that number, and then this one is check battery. I don't honestly know if I named it. And then we're gonna go to our while. Uh, get that number. Did I? Did I not make? I don't think I called it on this side, right? Yeah. Um, not inside. Let's not nest methods. Thanks. And then actually, we should probably be consistent because that really matters at this point. <laughs> Get that battery. <laughs> uh, and then this one is check battery. Right? Did I make this method? I don't think I made this method. And I don't need to do anything. I just need to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, just freaking call it. And then from our Hutamul, get that battery. Now we should be able to build it. I'm pretty sure. I'm mostly positive. So we got all those things. It's weird, though, that it's saying the battery is one. <laughs> it's like one. You know, that's... Let me, yeah, it's a, it's an enum, I think. Because, like, I'm running it on my... It's an enum. Because I'm yeah, running yeah. it on this computer, so it should tell me what my my computer's battery is is what I should get back. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be hundred percent or eighty percent. It's just giving you. Uh, let me check right. what, what's doing it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna re-drag my built project that we just witnessed. Replace all, and then let's do it on a different device. Let's do it on the Android simulator. Just to I don't I don't know. Just to see if we can get something different. Oh, actually, you know what? You're reading the charge level. Oh, am I reading the wrong thing? Yeah, you need to multiply that by 100, essentially. Oh, uh, no. So one ah! is essentially... Times 100, yep. two string? Can I mm-hmm. do that? Yep. Shut up. Shut no. up. Yep. Wait, yep. no? That's yes? Okay. <laughs> You're um, like, no! Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that should be fine. Yeah? Are you sure? Okay, we're mm-hmm. going to see. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm look, not looking at uh, chat room. That's exactly what chat room is saying. Oh, it's is a double. it? <laughs> it's a double from zero to one. Um, okay, so but... just mul- multiply it by 100 if you want a pure percentage. Okay. I'm curious on what the emulator is going to... what Like, wh- what it's going to say its battery level is. I hope it doesn't say 100. I hope it, like, is, like, you know, 98.2. Right. <laughs> it will say 100 because your emulator is running on uh, on a machine. So the host OS is giving it the full power. So it no. is as if your machine is charged up. No, I would assume the Android emulator would have its own encapsulated battery percentage that it's going to send back. No? You think it's just going to look at the host machine? Yep. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Actually, yeah, look at that battery. She's full. <laughs> All right, let's scroll down. Oh, the scrolling on this device. Here we, here we go. Get that number, enter a number. Let's see, I think we, whoa. Look at this input and how weird it looks. Here's our number, awesome, check battery. Mother of God. <laughs> we, so, we broke something so, somewhere. So <laughs> uh, we broke it. Uh, return battery level, yes, yes. What, what is the control room? Uh, you, you, you keep working on that. You're not call, you know, calling a method, it looks like. Uh-huh. Uh, get that battery what's the control room oh. this not battery to interrupt that check battery alert get that battery called oh, yeah. this is... what who's saying what to you I'm trying to look up what Alan said Alan's saying something interesting yeah hang on this is this is weird. Let me see. 
So apparently there are mechanisms to um, <laughs> tweak tweak the battery level on your simulator. That's Shut right. up! That's so cool! Is it like in settings or something? Not not directly on the simulator. I'm just trying to look up what Adam said here. I wonder if it's even calling it. All right, let's find out. Let's find out if it's even calling it. Build it, please, and thank you. Please and thank you. I will appreciate it if you build it. Uh oh, I did not type that right. Anytime I see that the background that you use, Sam. I'm like somebody else. I'm like, they're in Sam's house. <laughs> That's why I associate it with like your house. Oh, I like really think your house looks like that. <laughs> I'll go play, play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny. Okay, go away, simulator. I'm going to redo you. Redo you. Pray. Is there a difference when on debug and like release? Like, will it, it looks the same? Like when it pops up the... Emulator looks looks the same, but it's done differently. <coughs> the build builds oh, okay between um, uh, there there are you know, lots of difference between release and debug build. Oh. Does it include all of the artifacts? Is it doing any ahead of time compilation or not? So there are what's it? What's an artifact? Like if you do a release build, like all of your splash screens, your icons, everything is put up exactly right as if you are, you know, getting ready to release your app um, and you know publish your app. So that's the release build, and it's it takes longer, more expensive. Hey, did you ever find out what the control room is? Yeah. Um, what is it? It is because my is my this an GitHub. app like I download or? No, no, no. Uh, you, you can actually pull this up. Uh, so look look at the link that um, Alan just sent. So in fact, I, I can I can give you the link. So pull up your browser <laughs> here. So okay. you're not looking at the Inception thing. Inception. Uh, so go to go to GitHub.com slash two straws. Two straws. No, like Tita Loop. Tita loop. <laughs> two straws forward slash control room. Ooh, so how? I've never used this. This is interesting. Oh, so excited. This is so cool. Let's give it a star, shall we? Star. Um, what was I doing? All oh, right, simulator. Emulator. Bimulator. Why is it? All right, you go away. You're doing nothing. You are still building. <laughs> you can do it. I'm. I'm really hoping. Just, well, what did you change? Because yeah, I, I just I added. I just added an alert to see if that method. Thank God. Okay, so get battery is being called. Um, I just don't know why it's not actually print. print it's not printing. I don't know. Return. Am I doing? I feel like I'm doing this line wrong. Like this feels wrong to me. Maybe I should do this whole thing. Like let's do this can i just return this and then like do the math on the javascript side why the frick is it angry at me can i not want because you're you're returning a string versus charge level is a double so you want me to just stop two stringing it i don't know what you mean no 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 you do need to to string it but if you need to do it on javascript then return a double instead of the string to double no 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 public static instead of the string change it to double what you're saying <laughs> up, up top where you have the check battery definition public static string oh uh, yeah change that to a double oh my god i am understanding and then just return the charge level do i have to times it do i time uh, it? I if do? you want to yeah if you want that's fine okay yeah. and then on the and then you don't, you don't need side. you don't need the braces anymore you don't need the braces and then on the javascript side i need to do nothing right yeah, this is nothing. this is fine. This yeah, if you can if you can just print a double in an alert, then yeah, you don't need anything. <sighs> just 
don't understand. Yeah, it should just print. Yeah. Okay. Um, we didn't change anything on that, so I just need to restart the emulator. Where is it? Um, Sam, you helped a company do this in for like a real app in production, right? What? What? You helped a company do this. What did I do? This, thing, <laughs> this, this exact thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like Maui with JavaScript, right? Or was it not? Was it what? What? I don't know if they're doing it in production, but they are, you know, definitely considering. I thought it was already in production. I've been lying mm -hmm. to people. <laughs> I've been lying. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, okay. Ugh. All right. I got a one more minute hard stop. Let's see if All your right. thing builds. I don't think I don't think we're gonna see anything different. I think I'm doing something wrong on my JavaScript file, which I need to change to TypeScript anyway. So I'm gonna go clean her up. What is happening? I've got fluffs on the mic. What's for your afternoon? Are you all are you wrapping up? Are you I need to like go and work on my Angular app that I'm using standalone components. It's a new feature in Angulars without modules. So I'm, I'm working on that. What about you? Are you doing anything fun? Uh, no, just going to take a little break as the kid, kiddo comes back. Well, it's going to be a while. And then uh, I, I, I work again after dinner a little bit. It's going. It's going. Oh, my God. Did I just crash my computer? Oh, my God. Sam, are you still there? <laughs> I'm still here. My whole screen went black. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm here. I don't know why it went black. That's really weird. Also, do you see this? Watch whenever I like scroll up. You see everything stretches. Do you see right that? Right now, we don't we don't see your desktop. Anymore. Oh, you don't see my desktop anymore. Uh, I will share it again. That's really weird. I will find Streamyard and I will share it again because I don't know why that happened. Share. Okay. Um. Yeah. This. <clears throat> watch whenever I like I scroll all the way up. You see how like the text stretches? Is that like an Android thing? Could be a web view thing. Oh, you um, don't think that's how Android actually works? I don't think so. Well, could be. <laughs> it's hard to say from just that. Not sure. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a couple of other things. Um, okay. Like printing it to the actual page to see because I'm not really sure yeah. why it's not popping up. But ha thank you, darling, so much for so, your time. And oh, absolutely. And <laughs> if if there is one small request you could take back from this hour is change that font. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not blinking you, so on us. You don't, you don't like my animation? <laughs> no, no, the animation is fine. Just the, just the font. Well, All right, people. Mwah. Yeah. Goodbye, Thanks everybody. <laughs>